Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. My name is Arsalan and today we are on day 2 of building the logic with the help of Python through Boolean data types. Now if you are very new to this channel, very new to this playlist, let me give you a very brief introduction of what this playlist is all about. So in this playlist, we have been building logic, we have been building problem solving skills with the help of Python. And we started from a very basic question where we have solved a very easiest question on day one and we have already covered two data types already which is strings and integers now on this day on day two of boolean data types we will be solving a question which is to check which is a python program that checks if a function if a given string is a palindrome reads the same as forward and backwards and return true if it is uh, false otherwise now just before I starting to solve this question guys do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel. Now we will be starting this question and we will be creating a function that will be checking uh, palindrome so palindrome and it will be taking some string so let's pass some string so let's say my str is a string and then it will be checking something so let us pass this value for a while and i will be uh, printing this palindrome function so palindrome and let's say i write a b a s a, a double b a and i will writing some more thing here some pass something a b a and before i uh, write a logic here let's just understand that what does palindrome mean so palindrome means that it should be reading same for, for as forward and backwards so let's say i have a word as a b a so if i even if i return uh, if in, even if i read it backwards it will be giving me a true value as palindrome because you can read it both ways either forward or backward you will be seeing that you will be reading, uh, reading it the same way but if i write uh, a b c instead of a b a if i write a b c you will be uh, you will be not reading it the same way first uh, in the forward way you will be reading a b c in the backward in backwards way you will be reading c b a so a b c c b a that, that is a false value because you will be not uh, reading it in the same way as you were reading in the palindrome which was a b a so this is what a palindrome string is so palindrome checker is a checker which checks that it should be reading same as forward and backward but if it is true it will be returning a true value if it is false it will be returning false value now this function will be checking palindrome now to do write the logic first of all i will be checking uh, i will be first of all writing if condition if my str is equals to my str and i have already discussed it to that if the uh, that the reverse format of a string should be like this and first it's take three indexing first index is uh, left alone and second index also left alone and third index is the negative index which means that we are reading it backwards now this is the reverse string so let's just understand it uh, also mean it will be revision for you so if i just write uh, my str and if i write it like this it will be returning me the reverse order of the string so let's just run this code and you can see that it is returning me the return of order of this what return order of my uh, parameters which i have passed in the code now you can see that first for first a b double a it is returning me a a b a which is the reverse order of the string but for second string you can say second parameter sorry second uh, function which i have printed and with the second parameter which i have passed a b a you can see that it is printing me a b a because it is re reading same as backward as and for forward so this gives me a, this gives me a hint that i will be checking what i will be checking i will be checking that if if str if my str is equals to the reverse order of my str return true return true else return 
false now this is what we have to do in the question this will be giving me values which will be written true or false this is saying that false and which is of course false and second it is giving me true which is of course true now you can also write it in the same line as saying that in the sing a single line code you can also write single line code if you wish to but it is optional to the guys who do not understand this code and if you do if you understand it that is also good if you do not understand that is also fine because you do not have to worry about a single code line or a multiple code line that will be just nothing you just have to worry about the logical problem solving skills now to the means you should be uh, you should be more focused on building the problem solving skills rather than rather than writing uh, rather than writing code on multiple multiple lines or writing it in the single line so this is what we have to do so now if i say that return my str is equals to my str reverse order of this this will be also giving me the same output now what i said here is i will be explaining it to you that why, what i am returning it so you can see that i am getting false and false and false and true now we have checked that it is giving the same output let's understand this logic that what i am saying i am saying that return that my str double equals to my str the re reverse order of my str all right so i am saying my str forward order should be equal to re my str reverse order now this if this is true it will be returning me true if it is false it will be returning false so this is uh, very simple i suppose if you do not understand this it is also fine if it if you understand then well and good now i hope you have understood this question on day 2 of palindrome checker which is to check with palindrome checker and i suppose that you are able to build a logic eventually and you are understanding is this boolean playlist boolean data type playlist so this playlist if this playlist is helping you guys please share it with your friends as well so that they can also get benefit from this playlist thank Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and see you next time.